you guys although i'm in a lot of pain right now i don't know if i ever really explained that i had a surgery well, like a operation last year and the scar tissue sometimes get inflamed and when it's inflamed it's so unbearable like the pain is definitely at like an eight or nine i try my best not to take medication at this point i'm gonna have to take something to be able to sleep comfortably um for my sanity and just to kind of like subsap the pain for a few hours. I am currently recording a reel featuring cardigans. So I'm trying to knock this out and be a trooper. Just so that way I can have a lot of content for Instagram. Because right now, you know, things are going good for me on Instagram. But yeah, I'm fighting through the pain. Beauty is definitely pain at this moment. Because I really just want to curl up into a ball. Which is still quite painful. But um, yeah, I'm knocking them out. So make sure when I post this reel, y'all gonna like it. <clears throat> So, I really, really hate to say this, but my old ways are activated now. And I'm, I'm pretty much going to be to myself. On oh, everybody. Everybody. No one's excluded. I don't know. I think that'll just make me happier. I, I, it just, it just, in my mind, I feel like that'll be the smartest solution for my peace, you know? It's hard to explain. Once I figure out a better way to explain it, I will. Y'all, lately has been kind of like up and down because this is my birthday month. I celebrated my best friend's birthday, Teddy birthday, January 1st. Tomorrow is January 7th. Tomorrow is kind of like a very emotional day for me because someone who I really love got murdered on the 7th when I was younger. Kind of one of the reasons why I got the 7 tattoos outside of me playing sports and all my numbers being number 7. It being my favorite number, I won some money with the number seven. Um, it just resonates with me. So I don't know how tomorrow's gonna go. Yeah, I was at work yesterday and I got sent home. One, I was in pain because a few months ago, almost last year, I had a surgery and the scar tissue sometimes gets inflamed and it was so inflamed yesterday. It was so painful. I was fighting to get to work and I had like a small like altercation with the manager because I said excuse me four times and they didn't move so after the fourth time I just kind of like made my way through and he was like what are you doing I'm like I'm doing my job he's like watch how you're talking to me I said watch how you're talking to me like it, it didn't have to even be that and he was doing it in front of customers and I'm just like what are you doing like stop and then once I was like working, I felt like he kept antagonizing me, like come in my way. And this is an extremely touchy feely manager. Stop touching me. I do not like when men touch me, especially men, to men who I really don't know like that. His humor is dark. He's, it, it, I just don't like being around him. I don't have anything against him. I'm not no bully. I, I just stay away from him. So when he was, he was like telling me to come around this way, I walked in with the other way and he got mad. I don't want to come near you because I know you're going to touch me and be like, you okay? Don't touch me. I'm distancing myself from you for a reason so he sent me home and cut my days you chose the right one to play with he really didn't send me home because i was already going home early because i wasn't feeling well and i was in a lot of pain but whatever cut my days count your days my job has the second location opening and things are changing and i'm okay with the changes i'm, I'm usually on time i'm great with customers um i personally am working on my attitude i don't have attitude with customers at all i may say some stuff on the side but I'm, it's never gonna be in front of a customer or they'll know like they'll never know but you know those are things that i'm personally working on and i know that i'm working on so i for the most part i think i'm clear but you never really know nowadays i don't think my job will pull some shiesty shit like that but you never really know i don't know i've just been kind of like i canceled my birthday plans um i was gonna have like a, sh a charcuterie boy at dinner so it's like yeah, I was gonna have a charcuterie board dinner. I'm just not up to spending like a couple thousand dollars knowing that my car is almost gonna be paid off. And I have to do all this on my own and have to like buy an outfit. It's just a lot. I do have some glasses that I just got that I, I really wanted and I ordered a shirt that I really wanted. I don't have pants or bottom. Honestly, I could care less at this point right now. I am super blessed to just see another day, yet another year. So that's grateful for me. But I'm just like, I don't know, I feel like I'm growing and evolving, but I do feel like I'm going back to my old ways of just being quiet. At work, I really have to go to work and just be quiet. <laughs> Something happens, deal with it, shut up, keep it moving. You can't vocalize anything at someone else's establishment because they may not feel the way you feel. They may not understand where you're coming from. They may not understand your perspective. They may not even care. And what I feel is serious sometimes, some people don't. And then what they feel is serious, I'm like, that's not serious. So I, I don't know. 
Um, it's a big transition right now. I just, I'm just trying to stay focused. More than ever, I'm recording content and it's making me happy. Um, it's what's getting me by, getting me through. I believe that the self-care and content creation has really like, it has a chokehold on me and I, I do like it. Sometimes I get a little frustrated because I want things to be a certain way or I want people to see it and not many people are interacting or engaging in it. So it's a bit discouraging, but I know that things happen when they're supposed to happen and I'm just being patient. What else? I got some new vitamins, y'all. From Ali. Um, okay. So these are Undeniably Beauty. It says healthy hair, healthy skin, and nails. Biotin, keratin, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Um, it does not have any gelatin in it. The, it's natural what it's, is what it's saying. So, oh, wait. It does say gelatin on here, though. Does that mean natural gelatin? Oh, no synthetic fibers or colors, gluten-free. Well, I saw someone post this who has beautiful hair and skin, and I was like, oh, my God. Let's take one. Day. So let's take one. I heard great things about this brand. So it is grapefruit flavored. I really... Only like grapefruit hookah. Mm, they don't smell bad. Oh, they taste good. Okay. I like that. It's called Grapefruit Glam. So, I got them for Target for like $12, but I had a $10 gift card. So, you do the math. Um, I also have some new products I want to try out. I've been using this Beha Floor, Beha Floor Elastic Cream. This smells so good. It's from Sephora. I already took my shower. I didn't put it on yet, but um, I'm going to put a little bit on. And I guess I'm going to get to editing and get some work done. I'm feeling a lot better now that the inflammation has went down um, with the scar tissue. So I'm not uncomfortable. I just, I'm just hoping and praying that it don't come back anytime soon. Let's just get through this period of time, get through this birthday, get through all this. And hopefully I don't have to have the surgery thing with the thing with it is the surgery is going to handle it all. But it's one of those things that I'm like, what is what's going to resolve it? And they're like surgery. And they're like, until then, you just have to deal with it when it's inflamed. And I'm like, OK, but yeah. Okay, good morning. I'm trying my best to just. I'm gonna take this off. I'm actually gonna start my morning with one of these. My grandma breast cancer cake. I'm gonna call you, I'm gonna call you back. All right, so I just got a phone call that I really did not want to have. Y'all, I go through so much and I try my best to like not let it show. I just feel like it's been constant hit after hit after hit. I can't get back up. Like I literally feel like sometimes it's just, I'm just swimming and I'm never going to stop swimming. Like I want to chill. I want to break. I want to relax. I want to. I just feel like it's always something. It's always something. And I don't know. I'm so grateful. I'm just tired of going through stuff. <sighs> Anyways, um, I just used the K-Skin SPF moisturizer. Or is it just, oh, it just says it's a broad spectrum SPF 45, so it's not really a moisturizer, I, I don't believe. I'm using it as one. And then I bought the K-Skin Lip Care Deep Nourishing Lip Mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. This is my first time using it. It smells really good. Oh, oh, it like melted. Oh, I think I got too much on. 
Okay, that's that's pretty good. It's glossy like I like. Pass the gloss test, definitely. Okay, all right. Today is a very crazy day already. It's and it's January seventh, so it's like, of all days, this is the craziest day that I've like had to endure growing up. And now I'm just okay. Let me just shut up and go. Drop this down. All right, so I'm going to pick up Taisha. This is our first day of 2023, so to go well. I have plans to go to like this coffee shop and I may go to this place called Octopus because I know they have free hookah, but we'll see, we'll see. Look who's here, first date of 2023. And she stepped out the house styling. You look good, girl. You and me, we just don't get along. You make me feel like I did you wrong Going places where you don't belong Ever since I left the city Oh, yo, 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 I've got exactly what you asked for Glasses of champagne out on the dance floor Hanging with some girls I never seen before Seen before Used to call me on my cell phone Late night when you need my love, call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my high, my love. You'll be okay. <laughs> Stop trying to get me to drink again, and I'm gonna go to sleep. You gonna drink? I'm you don't gotta. Thing I've had today was mango. My margarita before was mango. This is mango. The hookah is peach mango mint. <laughs> There's a chance to love, friendship, prosperity, or will never down. She got her Kim K hair and Kim K Balenciaga glasses. Y'all, today kind of started off rough. Um, I got a phone call from my grandma. Um, I don't really want to say what I want to say because I just don't want to speak that up, but it's life. And you know, um, the great thing about going to college and being a public health student it, and working in the clinics and doing clinicals and doing rotations with doctors, even when I worked at the animal hospital, it was good, 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 great experience for me to learn that things can change even when, you know, diagnoses are brought up. But in 2009, my grandma was diagnosed with breast cancer, and it was from a small lump in her left breast. So initially, we did everything, well, she did everything she did with the oncologist to get everything removed. They went through her stomach, I believe, and vacuumed it out because it would be less scarring, and that was the easiest way for them to do it without reoccurring issues. Um, that was hard because that was when I was first leaving Miami to go to Tampa. And now I'm in Atlanta and my grandma called me today and said that, you know, she's having that reoccurring lump pop back up. And it just was disheartening because my grandma is such a strong person. I love her so much and I'm not in Miami often. So one reason to go home and see her, but also it's just, it just sucks to hear that. Especially knowing that I'm going through all that I'm going through on my own up here. It just sucks. It's, it's just, it's annoying. So I was down and out. Like I was like, oh my God, I need thank God I didn't go to work. Cause if I was at work and I got that phone call, I would've been on the floor crying, but she's strong and she's a trooper and I know everything's gonna be okay. I prayed about it, hope everything's okay. She goes to the doctor on Monday to see what they're gonna do. We're just gonna hope all is well. Um, I went to Octopus earlier, as y'all can see. We went to a few spots. I was drinking, drinking, drinking. I wasn't drinking my pain away. I was drinking cause I actually wanted to drink. My day got a lot better. Anyways, I'm gonna get started editing on some of these videos and vlogs. I posted a reel today, it didn't do too well. And it sucks because I went to the algorithm and it told me to post at this time and this, and it's whatever. The company itself commented, which is great. I don't post to get recognition from the companies, but it's always good. If you post it for Fenty, you want Fenty to see it. If you post it for Honda, you want Honda to see it. If you post it for your damn grandma, you want your grandma to see it. So that's, I guess that's good, but it's just like, algorithm who? That's why I just post when I want to post. I know that, it, and if people like it, they're gonna like it. They're gonna gravitate to it and it's gonna be what it is. I'm about to start editing some Instagram reels and find out what's going on with this hookah. 
What's up, y'all? It is 520. My phone has been on Do Not Disturb. I've been chilling. I've been relaxing. I've pretty much slept most of the day. I went to Publix and I got me some. I got some groceries. Um, I'm really excited about a few items, too, because my first time trying them. I got these vegan coconut cookies. It says vegan coconut crispy cookies. I'm excited to try these. Okay, I'm not going to eat them now because I don't want them now, but I definitely... Um, I also got some maple flavored vegan sausage, I mean veggie breakfast, um, maple flavored sausage patties. Hope those are good. I need some more coffee. Um, some cinnamon raisin bagels. Mushrooms are my favorite. I try not to eat them because they have gelatin in it, but I got some plain bagels. Some tuna salad. So I'm about to start preparing my dinner because I made some rice and I'm about to put this chicken in a pot and cook it with some jerk seasoning dressing. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be eating. But I'm going to make my hookah clean up and put these groceries up and I'll be right back. All right, so I know I said I wanted to be in the bed by now, which it is 11.55, but I have so much energy right now after editing and cleaning up, I feel like I'm about to go to the gym. I know I said I needed to start being more intentional. I wanted to beef and buff up a little bit more for my birthday, so it's time to get these titties sitting. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go to the gym. I wanted to go to my home gym, but I'm also like, sometimes when I'm in my home gym, I feel like I ain't got to push myself, but when I go to a gym where I see other people working out and getting it in, it kind of encourages me to go, so I'm about to stretch a little bit at home first. I'm probably going to stretch a little once I get to the gym, and then I'm going to start working out. Yo, that gym kicked my ass. <sighs> Alright guys, it is the day after I went to Noble. It was pretty good. I enjoyed my food. <laughs> I enjoyed my drinks. I had a good time. I didn't bring my camera because I was afraid they was going to tell me to put it away. But when I got in there and realized that no one was there, I was like, they probably was like, Honestly, all the two top spot, the bar was full and the bar was full, but I actually got a seat at the bar and then it was a seat behind me and then the, some lady from Housewives, I forgot her name, Tanya, Toya, Tanya, she was sitting with her husband. Other than that, it wasn't a lot of people, so I could have brought my camera. Um, it is kind of dark and mellow in there, so I, it'd be hard to see, but it was pretty good. I enjoyed myself. I'm actually about to go to the gym for the second day in a row because I'm gaining weight. <laughs> And I want to look a certain way on my birthday, even though I'm not really going to be doing much. I want to bulk up my chest a little bit. <laughs> my titties. Oh, look at my titties. 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 Look at my titties
my nipples ain't hard. Ay, ay. And probably do a little squat. I don't usually work on my lower body, but I want the frame and the shape to be coke bottling. So I gotta do what I gotta do. So that's what I'm about to go do. I think I want to eat Chipotle after that. So I have a gift card that I haven't used yet. And I'm going to try to use it on the app. So that way I can give me some Chipotle. Pole, pole, pole. And come home and edit and clean. I don't need to clean much. I have to organize. I have to put up clothes. Ghetto. Ghetto. Um, I do, do I want to do an unboxing? I don't know if I want to open, post my birthday shirt yet. I don't want to post the whole outfit like I'm giving away the outfit. So, I don't know yet. We'll see. I'll see y'all when I get um, What's up, y'all? I'm finally back home. I went and got me some Chipotle because I was craving it. And I'm about to watch some TV for a little bit. I need to finish editing the reel. I got to do a voiceover for my Target reel. I got to do my cardigan reel, which is driving me insane. <sighs> and I got to eat my food. My workout was good, but I'm sore. Like two days in a row going back to back. Sore on top of being sore. It's not a good feeling. It is not a good feeling at all. But boy, I'm about to demolish this food. <laughs> Superior. In the summer, so like. It wasn't as hot as the winter jacket. I went in my crib. So, my mom had fun. I was really with me. I'm not here. Oh, no. I didn't do no wrong other than go to fuck. I feel like I'm always vlogging in the bathroom now, but um, you see this widow's peak? But I'm not going to get a haircut until my birthday. Today is the 10th. My birthday is in 10 days. So, we gonna have to do like small touch-ups. I'm using the Tree Hut uh, Shave Gel. I usually use the Shea Moisture Gel, but I ran out. I'm not repurchasing that item. So. I'm just gonna put this where I need to touch up and I'm just gonna go in with a regular razor blade a new one always use a new one I this is the one that they say you can use for your face I'm not shaving my face so all I do is get to the mark I push this down a little bit and then I shave down so you see that line of dirt <laughs> really hair but it looks like dirt that's what we're taking off be careful because you do not did I take off too much? I did. You do not want to do what I just did. I didn't take off my, mess up my hairline, but I took off more hair than I wanted to at that moment. Trust me, that'll be back before I get to the barber. But you don't want to mess it up. You see the difference already? Damn, black magic. Now, I don't try to do the size much because that's like baby hairs. That song is so aggressive. Why she so aggressive? Give me bezels. Cut, cut, cut. Whew, I have to hold my breath when I do that shit. <laughs> this what it's looking like. Condition hair, clean skin. You know, a little touch up on the lineup, shape up. I got one. I'm going to use an overnight sleeping mask. Give this skin a little moisture. A little mo- That is a lot. That is a lot. It's okay, cause we'll- We'll take it down to the neck. Take it down to the neck. Earlier I went in with the Melanin Hair Care Treatment. I'm gonna go in now with the oil blend. It's a blend of oils. You know, keep that hair Nice and moisturized. A blend of oils. Honestly, oils is what helped me grow, grow my hair back when I was diagnosed with alopecia etna. I am going to reuse this, but only probably one more time. Because I didn't really wet it. And I put it right back in the packaging. I know for sure that that's the one I used. Because it's blue. I already put on my night lotion, 
So in the morning, all I gotta really do is put on my SPF. I've been using this as a lotion, and I put a little bit of castor oil. Um, but yeah, it's time. It's time for bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Guess who can't sleep? Me. Y'all. I have been trying to go to sleep. It's, it's not working. It's literally not working. This is my fault because earlier today, I ate that damn Chipotle. And when I ate that Chipotle, I was like, no, don't take a nap. Don't take a nap. I literally was sleeping and dreaming. And in my dream, I was like, oh, yeah, you sleep. I went to the gym at 1.30. I left the gym at 2.30. My boo was ready by 3 o'clock. I went and ate it. I went to Target. I came home by 3 or 4. I was asleep by 4, like 4.20. I didn't wake up to like 9 something. I haven't been asleep since. It's currently like 1.40 in the morning. But it's okay because I'm trying my best to get better at YouTube. So I'm like learning new things, watching different content creators, um, looking at tips and tricks. And I'm going to have to do better. So I edited a reel that's going to go up tomorrow. Um, what else? I'm about to just jump on the computer and start learning and editing things until I get better. I'm actually going to film a video of how I edit in my process and what I do and what I use but I'm writing down all my notes first in my phone so that way I could just go down the timeline so that way I have a perfect example a perfect layout of what I pretty much do to achieve videos because some people do want to know some people don't hopefully the world wants to know I want the whole world to see it so yeah again if this is your first time here on my channel go ahead and hit that like button also subscribe so that way when I post a video you guys know about it so yeah let's get into it What's up, y'all? So I for sure know that I am not going to make it to the gym today, but I don't gym clothes because I'll just be doing some push-ups and pull-ups at home. My body is sore. My chest is sore, but it's starting to bulk up and beef up like I wanted to, so I got to keep up the memento. Um, I'm actually making some spaghetti with some Beyond Meat and vegetable noodles, chickpea noodles, vegetable noodles, some type of noodle. I already made a hookah, so I'm just going to be breezing through. You'll see me cooking and cleaning, cooking and cleaning and cleaning and cooking. But um, I also have to put up some clothes, so well, I guess I'll do that too. But um, yeah, let's get started. Y'all, I've been going back and forth with Cash Shop for about, why is this cabinet open? Back and forth with Cash Shop for about a month or so. Somebody tried to request money from my account and I denied it. And I guess they got mad and reported my account. So now Cash App has literally been writing me back and forth on me saying my account is closed due to gambling. I've never gambled a day in my fucking life. And I don't scam people, so give me my motherfucking Cash App card back. This really pissed me off because it's like people out here really doing shady shit. I'm not doing nothing. And y'all flag my damn account. Are you crazy? Anyways, let me get started with this food. All right, guys, so I received my birthday shirt today. I don't know if I'm going to open it in front of y'all yet because I don't want y'all to see. I, shit, I don't want to see, but I actually do want to see just to see if it fits. But I'm going to be looking cop diesel in it because I'm usually a small, but I got a medium. But because I'm bulking up, it's probably going to be a little tight. Hopefully, that's the look that I'm going for. I got some other stuff today in the mail. And yes, it's black. <laughs> I keep trying to stop by black stuff, but I actually, I'm really not trying to stop by black stuff. Like... <laughs> Black is just my favorite color to wear. So, this is my shirt. And this is what I got from Minimal. Yeah, Minimal. Side note, Minimal is one of my favorite places to shop. So, if you want to give me a digital gift card, go ahead and send it to trash talk to me at gmail.com and make sure it's at least $100. I'll take 50 but make sure it's at least 100 What I got. I don't remember what I bought. I just know it's literally all black stuff. Oh, these are some black shorts. Some cargo shorts, really like these. 
If it's not cold on my birthday, I'm definitely gonna wear them. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on buying stuff that I'm probably only gonna wear once or twice. Really just once, so. I got these black shorts, which love the material. What are these? Black skinny jeans that look real small. Lord have mercy, am I gonna be able to fit these? Oh God. Oh, it's a size 31 and it has like these rhinestones on the side. Hopefully they fit. This is looking a little too tight. I ain't finna try them on now. I'll try them on when I'm less bloated. And I got these black leather pants in a size 31 too. So I, it's just so weird how they fit like that. It's like a wax denim. But they're, oh, they're flare at the bottom. I forgot. So maybe I'll wear these. You never really know. I got options now. I got all black options for my birthday. Oh, I really want to see my birthday shirt. I'm going to open it. But I'm not going to show y'all. Come on. Ooh. I'll give y'all a clue. Okay. That's it. That's it. Y'all, we are on a tornado watch. This is crazy. I don't do tornadoes. I'm from Miami. I do hurricanes. I sleep through those things. We had hurricane parties growing up. Tornadoes? You can't get away from that. <laughs> I'm done. I'm fucking done. But, you know, oddly enough, I had to change out of my work uniform because y'all be liking to pop up to people's jobs. Oddly enough, when I was younger, I was in a tornado. Story. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yes, me and my mom, we were at a nail salon. What's that area called? Scott Lake. We was in Scott Lake and we, we were at a nail salon and you can tell something was going down because the sky was just like, I could literally chew the sky. Hail started coming down out of nowhere. Just pouring rain in. Just push, 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 cracking on windows. I felt like we was in a, a motherfucking action movie we had to run we was on a bus we was getting ready we was about to get off the bus <sighs> lord knows we drove that bus for an hour no it was an hour probably like 30 40 minutes which is a long time for a kid we got it was hailing before we got off the bus we got off the bus mom was like we just got to run across the street it was the hardest street to cross you know those streets that it's just like <laughs> it take like 10 minutes to wait for the for the light and then it take like three minutes to cross the street that's how like chaotic it could be literally waiting there getting hit like hell busting us in our head then we finally get across the street and we was like okay cool everything's okay then you hear this little like whistle sound like a I, it was really hard to it's hard to depict that sound but the sky was just crazy color and it, we were in a tornado and stuff was flying like into the window um it was really fast like it, it probably was like 15 seconds but it was like the scariest 15 seconds of my life i do not want that to happen today i don't want to happen to no day i don't want to happen to no one let's just get this over with this will be like a rain a thunderstorm and go my plan is to do my hookah because i'm gonna do my hookah I'm gonna, i was gonna do that anyway hello get in the shower because i don't know what's gonna go down with the water i have six cases of water just in case i need to boil it to take a bath okay okay and editing my stuff yeah i got i got a lot to edit so but i don't i'm just hoping and praying lord please cover us and protect us during this tornado thunderstorm whatever this is make sure everyone's safe make sure everyone gets home to their kids their families and to their destinations i'm hoping that there are no airplanes at all right now but if anybody's traveling in the air on land or in the water let's just get them to and from their destination safely and then let me know what i pray protect us amen hallelujah all right let me get my hookah. So, I never really told y'all how I started saving some money. So, every time I go to work, which is mostly three to four times a week, or if I work the club, I still try to do it. Anything under $20, I put in the bin. I used to do anything under $50, but hold up now. Nah, it started getting a little crazy. But, so yellow. Ugh, I hate it. Yeah, anything under $50, I put in the bin. So, like, yesterday, I didn't have anything under $50. I only had $100. Which is good, because I made money, but I had to put that in the bank to pay bills. Today, I made all of this. This is everything that's under 100, so this is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 164 dollars is going into my savings today. And I empty this bin out every week, and I take it to the bank. Week I had like a thousand dollars, which was great, but who the fuck want to say that much? 
Um, it's a good way for me to save. I know everybody has different ways. Some people do the calendar or the journal, which I have a journal. Like you can do $10 every day. To me, that's costly. I got $10 every day. Some days I got it, some days I don't. Honestly, choose which way works for you. It works for me because sometimes at the end of the week, on average, I take about two to three hundred dollars worth of money to save, and I already got halfway through that. Mostly, this is one sixty four, so I only work to my. Oh, I work. Ooh, hold up now, because I work. I work the at. I work the restaurant tomorrow, and then I work the club on the weekend. So, who knows how I get paid then? Hopefully, it's big bills. Hope if not, then it's gonna go to my savings. So it is what it is. Just thought I'd throw that.